San Juan Capistrano is a great place to live, but is it the right place for you? We're going to take a look at the pros and cons of San Juan Capistrano today, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, I'm Ryan Schramm. Thanks so much for checking out my channel where we talk about living, playing, and thriving in South Orange County. Do me a favor, hit the little bell button down below and subscribe to my channel for more content. Let's jump in. Pro number one, the weather. We're always talking about the weather. Why? Because it's a major, major driver as to why South Orange County and specifically San Juan Capistrano is such an awesome place to live. Let me tell you about San Juan's weather. The cities like on the immediate coast, literally like right on the beaches, they deal a lot with marine layer. And if you're not familiar, marine layer is kind of like low clouds. It, it makes the sky gloomy. It's not fog, not to be confused with fog, but it's just lower clouds that block out the sun. Um, and then there is coastal fog as well. Fog is like dense, thick fog that comes in and, and you can't even see sometimes, you know, your hand out in front of you if it's bad enough. But what am I talking about? I'm not a weatherman, but here's why it's important. San Juan Capistrano is a little bit further inland than Dana Point or San Clemente. So you have that marine layer kind of coming in and then it hits the land where the land's getting warmed up and San Juan Capistrano has like a three mile buffer from the coast and a lot of that marine layer burns off. So you get a nicer, warmer, sunnier climate in San Juan Capistrano. That is awesome. Average temperature in San Juan, 70 to 80 year round. Sometimes it can get warmer though. So temperatures like in August and September, when we're like, we're filming this right now in September, there will be days this month that it's hundred degrees in San Juan. Con number one, the housing prices. I mean, this can be looked at two ways, right? San Juan Capistrano, as far as a national average in the United States concerned, is expensive. The average price per the multiple listing service is $1,140,000 in San Juan Capistrano. But relative to Laguna Beach, Newport Beach, Corona Del Mar, Dana Point, San Clemente, San Juan Capistrano is more affordable than those beach cities. So it's kind of a double-edged sword there, a blessing and a curse, if you will. Pro number two, there are so many things to do. And San Juan Capistrano has this insanely rich culture. I could probably do a separate video just of the San Juan Capistrano culture. I mean, think about this. When I was in elementary school, and I, I didn't go to school in San Juan Capistrano, we were an hour away. We took a field trip to the San Juan Capistrano mission. That mission has so much history and it plays such a big role in, in Southern California history that that is, there's a big connection with San Juan and the mission. Actually, the Sarah Chapel part of the mission is the oldest in use building in California and it was built in 1782. So that's pretty cool. You should definitely check it out. So there's also the Los Rios shopping district, tons of awesome shopping and things to do there. Check that out. And then San Juan Capistrano has petting zoos. They have these great equestrian facilities. I always say that San Juan Capistrano is very rooted in equestrian culture. Uh, a lot of, of horse trails and, and places to train your horses. And then the properties within San Juan Capistrano, a lot of them are zoned for equestrian and might even have stables. So that's a pretty unique feature to San Juan Capistrano as well. And then finally, the last thing on this topic, it is considered a pro if you like a little bit of a quieter town. Of course, there's things to do in downtown San Juan Capistrano, some awesome restaurants, um, just really cool vibe there. But generally speaking, it is, it is a little bit quieter. So if you want more nightlife, you're gonna have to go somewhere else to maybe Newport Beach or something like that. But if you like it, to be a little bit sleepier than San Juan Capistrano is definitely for you. Con number two, limited employment opportunities. Like San Clemente, like Dana Point, San Juan Capistrano, they're all very close. They actually touch in one spot, the tri-city area. You can have you know, an arm, a leg, and an arm in each city at the time, at, at the same exact time. There is not a lot of commerce. Um, Irvine's gonna be the biggest host of jobs in the immediate area. It actually is interesting. San Juan Capistrano, the biggest employer for the city is the Unified School District. So you have the Capistrano Unified School District as the first largest employer. The second largest employer is St. Margaret's School. And then the third largest employer, this is kind of a funny one, it's Costco. So the Costco is, is right on the San Juan city limits near Dana Point Harbor. So those are the three largest employers. If you want an area of commerce, San Juan Capistrano is not gonna have that for you. Pro number three, location. 
It's an awesome location with respect to being close to areas of work like Irvine. It's not a bad drive, maybe 19 minutes on the five freeway. And then San Juan Capistrano is super close to Dana Point Harbor and Doheny Beach and Salt Creek. It's only probably door to door is about nine minutes, but it doesn't feel that long for some reason, probably because there, there's not a lot of stoplights to go along Del Obispo down to the Harbor. If you want, a more affordable option that is still super easy to get to the beach then San Juan Capistrano is, is fantastic for that. All right, so for the final con, and I kind of had a scrape for this one because I think San, San Juan Capistrano doesn't have a lot of cons, but if you're looking for an ocean view property or if you're looking for your city to have some kind of coastline, that's not San Juan Capistrano, it's landlocked. San Clemente and Dana Point block the coastline. There are a couple of little pockets, Meredith Canyon being one of them, which is right off the Beach City's exit on the five freeway that has some pretty good ocean views and it's super close to the harbor. But most of San Juan Capistrano and downtown is gonna be landlocked. So you're not gonna get those booming ocean views or be able to kind of go to any beach in San Juan Capistrano. Now, if you're looking for some good information about the San Juan Capistrano schools, check out niche.com or greatschools.org. I found both of those websites to be a really good resource for school information. And if you have any questions about the homes in San Juan Capistrano or the lifestyle, reach out. Please comment below if you went to school in San Juan Capistrano or if you grew up there, if you still live there, comment below and it'd be fun to talk with you more about it so that we can give everybody an idea of how, what it's like to live in San Juan Capistrano. Thanks so much, take care.